Uh, is there anyone in the audience? Who, oh, I've got some requests to speak on matters not on the agenda. Let's see what we got. Okay. Uh, Mr. Valdez uh, from Solana County. And this, then Ms. Kuhn. Mr. My Valdez. name is uh, Roberto Valdez. I'm a Solano County resident, and that's where I'm coming from you. Um, um, thank you, Mr. Eisenberg, and thank you, board members and public, for allowing me to speak. It's taken me a while, maybe 12 years, I don't know, <laughs> to, to get here, but I did uh, today. And uh, let me just say to you that I applaud you for your efforts to come up to not just a, uh, a general consensus or a reasonable consensus of what's best for the not only for the Delta, but for the state of California, for certainly for Cali all Californians, um, you know, and um, or at least for the next, not for this generation, the next generations to come. And I know, um, but I'm, I'm here because, um, um, you know, um, um, what can I say to you? Um, I'm coming to you more from a practical, if I can say, I, I do engage in a lot of academics, and I, I do know a lot about uh, proposed after conservation, Solano County, and I do know a lot um, what's going on with the Bay Delta Conservation, which I've engaged in with at least 15 public meetings, and it's ongoing. What you're doing here today is still, in my view, uh, in the makings, and I know you're trying to get some sort of uh, nitty-gritty uh, something to grab on to be able to be able to uh, apply or hopefully uh, not only uh, benefit the species and the habitats and in the Bay Delta but also uh, what's going to be best for the people who live in those in those regions and everybody who's living in California has is will be impacted I, I can tell you in Solano County we're at least I am aware and I do and quite a number of people are aware that what you're doing it's going to impact uh, it's going to change the Delta, it's going to change, um, you know, uh, the the uh, Solano County, and it's going to change the state of California. History, if you read Mr. Kevin Starr, the former state uh, librarian and uh, historian of one of the best historians of California, if you read what he writes in the 50s, you know, the dreams of, Cal uh, of uh, the, Cal uh, the California dreams, um, you read the chapter on what happened uh, with the water projects, I believe it's chapter 25, where it talks about Governor Pat Brown, what he tried to do in the 50s. Well, we're at that stage, and I, I'm, I do believe we're in that stage. So I, you know, I take a, a very active interest um, on this um, as a as a resident. Um, but I am um, there's there's two major concerns that I want to share with you today. One. And I want to kind of set the record straight and maybe put it in the record out there. Uh, you probably have heard a lot of negative uh, um, comments in uh, this recent Sacramento Bee article about uh, what the um, uh, Mr. J uh, Mr. the director of the Bay Delta Conservation staff and his staff, Mr. Jer Jerry Mor Morell, could do better or whatever, or what he has done or what he's started doing in the past. I don't know about his past, but I can tell you as a um, Californian, a resident, long time. Um, he has been uh, very cooperative. They have been very cooperative. They've been very transparent. They have, um, you know, they've um, they've done reached out to the farmers, to the Department of uh, Research Management, Solano County. Uh, you know, they uh, they have responded. As you know, if you follow what the, goes on the Bay Delta Conservation Plan uh, website, you know, and the meetings. Uh, they were very quick to respond to Congressman uh, George Miller and the concerns that the, the, the objections he was raising with some of his constituents that, uh, that the water agencies were trying to take over the Bay Delta conservation plan process. And, of course, it's not just their process. It's everybody. Everybody who drinks and lives in California is, should be concerned about that. But they were very quick. So all I can tell you is my experience with him uh, with them and – and it continues. It has been very, uh, a very positive one, and I hope that people give them the benefit of the doubt and not be swayed by any political um, or uh, misconception about what they're trying to do. They are paid, but they're, they're doing their job. They have to, and they know it, and they respond quick. Um, the other thing I want to say to you, um, you know, the, the things that I can share for, for you is that... Um, um, 
you know, the uh, I'm hoping that uh, you know that uh, that this 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 whole plan. What, and you know, again, I applaud you for trying to formulate the Delta plan, but there are other people have other views too. Um, I hope that we can turn it from what I see as really a political economic uh, um, interest here, rather uh, not just I'm not just speaking of you directly, but I'm, I hope we can turn it to what I call a, and I and it's been said uh, there was somebody who wrote an article about the water ethics. You know, we have to think beyond politics and beyond the economy. We need to think of what's going to be right for the people, everybody, particularly the people who live there, you know. And I'm sure the farmers and the – I've heard a lot about the farmers and the, and the developers and the ranchers, everybody who uh, – the fishermen, you know, uh, people who just live there, you know, who are being uh, stumbled on by, uh, by the, you know, by the, by the whole project here. And this is a massive project, you know. So I hope that uh, – we can all come to some consensus and try to work it out, and again, and not just in a reasonable, but one based on science, reason, but that goes beyond. Maybe what you need is some broader philosophical view of science, the whole role of science, what it is. And I respect what uh, the scientists are doing, and you know. And so I think you're in the right direction. You know, I, for one, um, I will tell you, I am inclined to support this. Pay data conservation. Again, I'm more informed about that plan than I am about your process here today. But I'll tell you because it not only protects the species and the habitat, it, they, they are sensitive, responding to the people who live there particularly, who will be impacted directly. But we're all going to be impacted. We all, and then uh, it provides a second layer for the soon march, particularly in the secondary area. If you know anything about Solano County, that's where they're putting the uh, wind turbines. You know, they uh, what used to be farmlands. You know, those are good. Those are good projects. We need to save energy. We need to bring our keep our country going, economy. But it's also. Uh, so I see this as another protection. Whatever you're coming up here in this Delta plan based on science or comes out of the Bay Delta Conservation Plan itself. But, um, you know, and the um, – there and what I like well, also about it, it fits very nicely. I have to tell you, I've looked at not just this project, not just what you're doing, but – and this is a mountain. It's a monster of things to read, you know. But it's it, – but what we're doing – what's happening in Solano County with the proposed habitat conservation plan, what's happening with the uh, west side uh, – um, was it uh, IRWM uh, regional water project there um, and what you're doing? I think they all fit nicely in terms of what's best for the species and for, for, uh, for the people in that region as well as California. So, um, you know, again, um, if you ask me, <laughs> If you ask me what I think you should do, and from a practical, not just theoretical, um, um, well, num I'm a librarian, I'll tell you from pro profession. I'm trying to figure out not only what's, what's the connection, environmental, economic, social, whatever, connection between what's happening in Solano, proposed habitat conservation, and Bay Delta conservation, and what you're doing, but also, I think you need to come up with some sort of shortcuts. And there's a lot of information that has been provided. The handouts, you know, the website, the on, on and what you're providing today. This is a gold mine of knowledge in itself. If you have the stomach to absorb all this, time to read, great. But not everybody does. So, um, again, I don't want to take too much of your time. It's been a long day. But... Um, you know what do um, I would like to see a statewide uh, water conservation uh, program for everybody, all Californians. We need that, whether we have a drought or we have a lot of water, it doesn't matter. We have to be prepared for that. Uh, who pays for it? I say pay for it according to who who, who drinks the most water. <laughs> you know, uh, not just the flat rate. <laughs> you know, uh, and um, if LA drinks more water, then. Back a bill, then LA should pay more. But again, the government's there to to ease the process. Okay. Um, again, I'm nothing against LA. Or I love LA too. But uh, but the um, the other thing I want to say to you. So there's going to be there should be a lot of horse trading, if nothing else, but based on science. 
based on your experience, based on your talents and skills and experiences and the history of this okay. whole region. Great. Um, that's it. Thank you, Mr. Valdez, very much. Appreciate that. Okay.